Hello there, Anonymous Prime here. Today, in Retro Review, we're going to cast our minds back to the year 1986, a bumper year of exciting things for the Transformers brand. Transformers the movie was out, and it was also a really, really good year for some really exciting and iconic Transformers figures. Such things as the Aerial Bots, the Protector Bots, the Stunticons, all sorts of exciting combiners, but also some new Minibots. Every year for the first few years of the brand, there were some new and exciting minibots. Uh, this year, though, unlike the previous years, there weren't new moulds per se. There were repaints and remoulds of existing characters. So today, because it's a figure I had as a kid, we're going to look at Transformers Generation 1 1986 minibot Outback. Let's go to booth mode. Booth mode! Okay, first things first, uh, here he is in all of his lovely beige glory. Uh, this actual figure here is not a G1. Uh, he is actually a uh, Walmart reissue from about 2019, which I picked up when I was over in the States a few years ago. Um, a lovely figure, nice and, nice and clean and nice, um, which my G1 version probably would not be if I still had it. Um, he is obviously a repaint of uh, G1 Braun in lovely khaki, beige and brown. Uh, and the most notable difference is the inclusion of this slightly Megatron Blaster-esque gun on top. Uh, he's obviously a military vehicle, whereas Braun is more of just a sort of a normal everyday jeep type vehicle. Um, he has the rub sign, denoting that he is after the original run. Uh, this one does work. I rubbed it vigorously earlier and it's got, you can just about see an Autobot symbol there. It's not great. Um, yeah, so that's basically a teeny tiny, nice looking jeep. It's got the iconic jeep front there. And a little winch. And yes, now the big difference really with this version as opposed to the original is that the uh, Autobot symbol here is tampoed. It's a, it's a decal, not a sticker. It doesn't come off. Looks quite pretty, nice and shiny, quite like it. Um, other than that, the real differences between this and Braun are on the underside. The body and the face are completely re-sculpted so to give him a different character um so let's get into the transformation we pop the uh, little gun off pop that to one side and then we unpeg the two legs from the front those little little clippy bits that hold it in which i can show you in a second and then you pull the legs down and down and then pull the legs down and down, and that pops them out. And then the two arms are hidden in this side compartment here. You just pop this bit out, pull it out as far as it goes. Mm -hmm. Like so. And then just flip that bit around, flip that bit around, and then get his little hands out here. Oh, exciting. And that one there. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. And that is that. It's not a particularly exciting robot mode, but he does what he does, and he does it well. He's very, very tall. Very tall. Lovely little figure. And very tall. One of my big disappointments with him when I had him in the, as an original toy was that he can't actually hold his gun. There's no hole put into his little fork, spade, flat hands, can't even get it into a little hole there, so you can only really store it in there, which is mean, it means that uh, you're fairly likely to lose it. I think we managed to keep hold of our one from the original, but I honestly couldn't tell you these days. Anyway, that is uh, pretty much him. He's not very exciting, he's a mini bot, very simple transformation, uh, but hours and hours of fun for all the family. Uh, we originally got him... Uh, when I was a kid. Uh, we found him in a shop not long after they came out. 
Uh, I don't think at that point I had the uh, catalogue for 1986, so I wasn't sure of these new exciting figures. I got him, a friend of mine got uh, Swerve, I think. Um, and yeah, great little figure. Very brown, if you like brown. Yeah, lots of good memories of playing with this guy. Uh, he was one of my one of my main Autobots back in the day, when I had very few figures. <laughs> Um, and yeah, he's a lovely little, little, little dude. He's a bit <laughs> limited in his articulation, pose, and uh, everything else. But he's a fun bot. He's a funner little car. Car. Jeep. Use your words. I don't know. I always find it slightly difficult to get the legs right, because you've got to sort of pop it round to there. And then it's too far forward, so you've got to push it back and then get it up and then clip in a little clippy thing there under the hood. And that is back to Jeep mode. And this has been Transformers Generation 1 1986 Outback. If we're lucky, we'll get a Studio Series 86 repaint of this dude from the brawn mold that would be lovely um i've been odmus prime thank you for watching <laughs>